a book event with the two authors at the Roosevelt House at Hunter College from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's on May 17th. Mark your calendars. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, Theatre for the New City, the theatre that gave you the Village Halloween Parade, the theatre that is one over 42 Opies in the Pulitzer Prize, now presents the Lower East Side Festival of the Arts, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, May 25th, 26th, and 27th. Theatre for the New City is at 155 First Avenue at 10th Street. The kickoff is at 6 p.m. each evening. Plays, musicals, cabaret, film, over 100 artists and theatre groups, and it's free! Free to the public, the most multi-ethnic, multi-talented, multicultural incredible array of creativity ever seen in New York City. And on Saturday afternoon, plays for kids by kids and outside a cultural fair with food, music, poets, celebrities. Come swing with us. Come dance to Afro-Cuban jazz and salsa. Hear the music of Bengal. See Chinese opera. Come to the Lower East Side Festival of the Arts, May 25th, 26th, and 27th. Visit theaterforthenewcity.net. That's theaterforthenewcity.net. L-E-S. We've got it all. Join thousands of dancers performing over 80 unique styles of dance for New York City's 12th annual dance parade down Broadway and festival in Tompkins Square Park on Saturday, May the 19th. Starting at 21st and Broadway, the street parade begins at 1 p.m. with the festival in the park starting at 3 p.m. through to 7. Don't miss the vibrant costumes, decorative floats and sensational sounds from all around the globe. It's all free. Find a place along the dance route or buy tickets to watch from the grandstand at Astor Place. There are free dance lessons in the park or you can shake it loose in the social dancing areas. If you or your group wants to dance this year, register now. All the details can be found at danceparade.org. Shake, shake it. it. Welcome, everyone. You're listening to Heart of Mind Radio for the New Millennium. I'm Catherine Davis, and I am joined in this moment by the one and only Meir Schneider. Hello and welcome, Meir. It's so 
So nice to be on your show. Thank you. And Meir is a PhD, a licensed massage therapist who healed himself of congenital blindness and developed an original holistic approach to health. The Meir Schneider self-healing method is a unique combination of therapeutic massage movement and natural vision improvement exercises for prevention and rehabilitation of degenerative conditions. A globally respected therapist and educator, Meir is also a best-selling author, and his book Vision for Life was published recently, and um, as well as, uh, I would say, his newest book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing. And many of you who've been listening to these airways have heard our interview about that book, um, and he is also the founder of the School for Self-Healing in San Francisco. And today we're actually offering a really special gift. It's going to be new, I believe, uh, these lectures, the Guide for Self-Healing lectures we're offering you. And they're going to be on Tuesday, June 12th and Monday, June 11th. So there will be two lectures on two different days in two different locations that you will be able to choose from. But let me say that it is limited, and so therefore you may want to be uh, sure to tune in and let everyone know um, that you want to reserve those seats by making that pledge. But before going there, may ear... <laughs> Tell us a little bit about um, these new lectures, Guide for Self-Healing Lecture, which I presume includes some of the eye and vision stuff, but it's more in alignment with your newest book, Awakening to Your Power of Self-Healing. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> my school for self-healing, um, legally and formally, is in San Francisco, but my biggest class is going to be in Brazil, where I'm going to teach many, many people um, how to, uh, including physiotherapies and occupational therapies, how to help people to wake up their inner resources. And before I'm going to come to New York, I'm going to be in England, Germany. And in England, I'm meeting with the Macular uh, Degeneration Society of Southern England in, in Devon, Exeter, and I'm so proud that I'm going to do it. So I just want to say a few things. You know, um, we are sending uh, spaceships to other planets, uh, but we don't know more than 90% of what happens in our own oceans. We find all kinds of external solutions, which are often very necessary for different body problems, but we haven't yet discovered all the inner potential that the body has to help itself. And in my lecture, as in the book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, as in my training, I don't simply come and lecture, I demonstrate. Uh, they're saying a picture is worth a thousand words. Demonstration is worth a thousand pictures. And... It's interesting to see how little people know about the body in which they lived 50, 60, 70 years and how much their body can offer them in terms of what it can do for them to prevent sitting for hours, countless hours at doctor's offices and sometimes not to be understood and sometimes the problem is not being well diagnosed or well analyzed. So, for example, we have more than 600 muscles in the body, and most people use only 50 out of them. And when I teach people to walk correctly, which means heels to toe, so the movement of the foot is complete, 99% of the people can't get it. I could see it in huge groups until I tell them to walk backwards something they're not used to be doing. But that's why they do it correctly. They don't do it in a way that they taught themselves to do throughout the years. And once they walk backwards, 
which is chose to heal, and I don't even have to tell them that, it happens, then it's easier for them to walk forwards, heels to toes. So in my lectures, which are lectures, I would say, slash uh, workshop demonstrations, I teach people life skills. And in the book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, which I hope is going to be your best friend in helping yourself to discover your capacity, I teach exactly the same thing, how to wake up the visual system, the neurological system, the muscular system. We are really basically encapsulated in very tight connective tissue that doesn't uh, let go, that is basically imprisons us within ourselves. And if we find a way to use more of our muscles, more of our nerves, and have better uh, sensory integration and better contact with ourselves, our life changes right there and then completely. And we must not be lazy about it. We have to really work in self-discovery on a daily basis. You know, it actually saves many hours of misery in another time of our life. Yeah, this is so true. This is so true. And... I think that people get um, sort of pigeonholed into a state of thinking that um, talks about aging and talks about time and the processes of the body from a very limited perspective, and they sit around and expect themselves to get old and stiff and heavy and to have less mobility and less energy as we get older. But that isn't necessarily true, is it? It shouldn't be true. And in fact, let's even go further. We say these days that there's an opioid crisis. And indeed, if you look at statistics, there is. But truth of the matter is the opioid epidemic started with us trying to get a pill for every problem that we have. You have a headache, take a pill. You have, um, you have uh, back pain, take a pill. That's how we start to get dependent and old. We have to start to find a way to get our own circulation, our own uh, neurological stimulation to start and move our body forward. We do not need to treat a headache with a pill with few exceptions. There's always exceptions. But most of the time, we need to take care of the reason for the headache. So um, to just talk about being old, there's so many problems in life, Kathy, and you know it just as much as anyone else, which cannot be resolved. You know, uh, bureaucracy, poverty, many, many problems affect our life really in a way that is uh, hard on us. But truth of the matter is, just the other day, I took a lady who is a 79-year-old lady that I don't consider to be old, um, and she passed through ragamaru of impossibility in the world of bureaucracy, and she felt so terrible. Her driver's license was taken away for absolutely nothing. And Um, I knew that talking to her will make no difference. So I put her on the trampoline. And first she hated the idea because she was very afraid of the trampoline. But then I held her hand and we walked, and there was a gift to that trampoline. And she started to completely relax, completely let go. She slept in the middle of the massage that I gave her. And when she left, all her problems were distant from her. It wasn't a big deal. And this is what I want to say. Those lectures you're going to meet me for will be so uplifting, will change you completely in a sense that you would feel relaxed as if you just now got a massage. And for some odd reasons, just because you have more circulation, you become more optimistic, the same problem that bothered you before you came to the lecture You won't understand why it bothered you after you finish the lecture. That's beautiful because people will actually be engaging 
with you in this process. And um, for many of you who have listened to the program on um, this this particular book, we've 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 um, had a lot of our listeners pledge for awakening your power of self healing, and it's a wonderful offer. It's still on the table at the seventy five dollar level, but now um, in addition, we're asking you to make your phone call and reserve your space with your pledge five one six six two zero three six zero two. Five one six six two zero three six zero two. It is a pledge of thirty five dollars, just thirty five dollars for this incredible opportunity, this encounter with Meir Schneider. Again, that number is five one six six two zero three six zero two. And you want to decide if you want to attend the event on Monday, June eleventh, and that's in a Manhattan location. They're both in Manhattan, so it'll be easy for everyone to get to. But it's on uh, uh, West 86th Street uh, at the United Methodist Church of St. Paul and St. Andrew. And that's the Monday uh, lecture, and it goes from 6.30 till 8.30 p.m. And you will be able to really benefit from what Meir has to bring you. And the other choice would be Tuesday, June 12th, And that is located, uh, going to be at the One Spirit Learning Alliance, 247 West 36th Street in Manhattan. That's between 7th and 8th Avenues. And the information and the addresses of the two dates are located on our donation site, give to wbai.org. So you can also go directly to the site. And you can look under health or under tickets and you can register for the guide for self healing lecture, um, either, um, Monday or Tuesday, June 11th and June 12th. So that's really wonderful, but it really keep in mind that these are, um, spaces that have some limitations in terms of, um, the numbers that we can, um, really serve. So um so we want you to not waste that um time and then find yourself not being able to get your place in the lecture guide for self healing coming up in June. The number to call is 516-620-3602 five one six six two zero three six zero two and may ear sometimes it helps to have people ask questions so should we put it out there for people who might want to know how their physical problems might be addressed? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So if and you I have... just want to say that mm-hmm. in terms of the lectures, I really pay attention to the energy in the room and what people's needs are. And some people come uh when I'm ever in any town, whether it is Edinburgh or Sao Paulo or New York, to all the lectures that I give, because every lecture is a bit different because it's experiential. So potentially people might do both. Exactly. Right, right, right. The number, if you want to make that pledge, the number is 516-620-3602. 516-620-3602, and you're going to ask for the Guide for Self-Healing Lecture, and you choose either Monday, June 11th, or Tuesday, June 12th, in order to register for the correct information. You can check it out on the website, give to wbai.org. If you would like to call in, the number is 347-335-0818. Three four seven three three five zero eight one eight. If you have a question about your particular um, life or what you're dealing with with your particular living system, so um, Mayor, what are some of the kind of things that people can have an impact on based on the techniques that you're teaching them in this lecture? Um, like you said, it's it's like a moving lecture it's not just talk it's it's actually movement and breathing and walking and other things but w- what kind of conditions can be um impacted by well, one the, what thing, you're teaching most high conditions people can learn how to improve the vision and they can learn that the vision 
doesn't have to only deteriorate, as we're being told all the time by uh, the medical profession and by our friends, that vision actually can get better. So we almost always emphasize that and go through relaxation of the eyes and working uh, with, uh, with natural vision improvement. For another thing, um, you know, these days there are around 200,000 massage therapies in the United States alone. And that is because people's necks are so stiff. Uh, gravity pulls us down, but nothing gets us to go up. So we're going to work on ways to loosen up the neck, which can prevent headaches, arthritis of the neck, problems with the jaw, but also can prevent strokes from happening. We're going to talk about how to prevent back problems. And often I bring with me a bunch of um, tennis balls, and we do a lot of nice exercises of massaging the feet with the tennis balls and then massaging the back with the tennis balls. That's why I said that many people um, uh, leave the, the lectures feeling that they got a massage. I'll never, f- never forget how I had a lecture with more than 200 people that uh, WPFW, your sister station, in D.C. have uh, promoted for me. It was the biggest lecture I've given in North America, a couple hundred uh, people, and um, it was interesting that one wrote in her blog that was published that she felt that she got a massage as a result of it. But the main thing people would learn, how they can evolve further with the body. I want to inspire and motivate people to start and be more optimistic about their body their capacity, their f- uh, a body of people in the family, and the capacity of those people to improve. Excellent, excellent. That's that's a really a, a good way to start. Three four seven three three five zero eight one eight. If you have a question or you would like to talk to Meir about some of the things that you've been dealing with, I found it interesting that you were saying that working with the um, neck. Um, relaxing the neck and the shoulders m- might have an impact on whether or not a person has like a stroke or something? Absolutely. How is because, that? How does that work? Well, there are a few reasons for strokes, okay? One of them is poor uh, heartbeat. One of them is simply poor circulation, arterial sclerosis. But then tension of the uh, shoulder muscles, as you said, the, the trapezius, the levator, Scapula, tension of the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes of the neck uh, definitely can, at a certain point, if a person is very upset, very weak, very sick, they can tighten enough that a person can, can get stroke and lack of blood flow uh, to the brain uh, through the vascular system, the area called the circle of Willis, and nature really didn't want us to get strokes. That's why we have two separate arteries in a circle getting to our brain. But these days, with the incredible amount of tension that happens from sitting, from walking on cement, and really from life tension, and from the lack of the correct exercise, where instead of over-tensing our muscles, we use more and more muscles that we never used before and make it easier for us to function. The result of that is the neck becomes stiffer and stiffer, and so, so many people have strokes. You know, I met people that had series of strokes they weren't even aware of because the body repaired it on its own, but after a stroke that basically caused them either vision problem or immobility, and often it is a whole side that is immobile, it was discovered that there were quite a few strokes before the one that was diagnosed. And that's why I'm saying, let's loosen up our neck. It's much more dangerous to have a tight neck than people think. And in this workshop slash lecture, you will learn to live with a much, much looser neck. 
That's really important, too. And what's really interesting is that you have really been working and developing these techniques over uh, many years. And can you um, give, give us some uh, sampling of some people you've worked with and how they've been able to uh, change their own experience or expression? For example, yesterday... I worked with a lady who has multiple sclerosis, and um, I remember that for as many as uh, 35 years, I was able to keep her out of the wheelchair. She was very close to it when she came and saw me first. And for the last seven years, I was able to keep her out of nursing home, uh, and she deteriorated slowly throughout the years. But instead of being where she's at in her 40s, she's now in her 70s. And yesterday, I was working on her being stooped and having scoliosis. On top of the multiple sclerosis, she also has osteoporosis, which caused her bones to break. And so what I did was getting her to the floor, thanks to my strong strength, I could lift her from the wheelchair and put her on the floor and then could lift her from the wheelchair and put her back on the massage table, I mean, from the floor and put her back on the massage table. But the floor allowed her to feel and to be in a posture that she never is in. And it straightened her back and her scoliosis have decreased for a moment and gave her a sense of more life. And... Going back, I remember somebody with uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy in Brazil, and he hardly could breathe. And I asked his mom and his uh, personal physical therapist if he lied on his stomach, and they told me not in the last year. And through relaxation and massage, we were able to put him on his stomach, and he breathed deeper. You could see the color on his face. The thing that really um, got me to feel great is the smile that he had. So here's a person who can hardly move, being cared by his mother, being loved by his physiotherapist, that for a change, after a whole year of not breathing deeply, could breathe deeper. What I want to say to everyone, I gave you extreme cases. I simply work with many of them. I do it for the last 46 years. But something that I want to tell you, which is so important, is that find for you a way to loosen up. Let's say you have a knee problem. Learn how it connects to your hip joint. Learn how it connects to your toes and to your ankle. Loosen up areas which are tight but don't bother you so the area which are injured and bother you could heal. There is no medication for it. There is only one way to deal with it, learning your own body resources. And that's what I teach in my book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing. And that's what I will teach in the workshop. I can only give you a sample in two hours, but it could be powerful enough that it will change your life. And those who have the book will be very wise to have a good experience that will help you continuously work with the book. There you go. So um, I'm going to take a minute to reach out to those of you who are listening to call in. The number is 347-335-0818, 347-335-0818, and you will receive, um, well, you'll have be able to go to the lecture. You'll be reserving your space for the Guide for Self-Healing lecture. And your choice is Monday, June 11th or Tuesday, June 12th. And it's only a $35 pledge. It's a two-hour lecture, so you'll be able to get a lot of information in that time from 6.30 till 8.30 p.m. And the lecture on... Um, Monday, June 11th, 
you will be traveling in Manhattan to West 86th Street, 263 West 86th Street in Manhattan, and um, so between Broadway and West End Avenue. So, and on Tuesday, um, you'll go to a different location, and that's the One Spirit Learning Alliance, and that's 247 West 36th Street on the sixth floor. And you'll find this information. You'll be able to refer back to it on our um, website, give to wbai.org. And sorry, I missed a phone call. Somebody was trying to call in. Please call back 347 347- Three three five zero eight one eight three four seven three three five zero eight one eight. If you would like to speak with Meir about your particular situation, um, the guide for self healing lecture. We need for you to make that phone call five one six six two zero three six zero two. Five one six six two zero three six zero two, and you can make your pledge. It's only a thirty-five dollar pledge, and as I mentioned, that is a reasonably limited number of people who will be able to um, attend the lecture because space is limited to what it is. But there's plenty of space, um, like more than sixty in one and close to 70 in the other. Let's see if we have a phone call. Hello, you're on the air. you have a question? Yes. Go ahead, please. Yes, I'd like to know, is there any help for bunions on the feet, short of uh, anything short of surgery? Um, it is a very particular question. I think that to begin with, when you have bunions, is that bunions you're talking about? Yeah, bunions. Okay, the, uh, the, f- the first thing to do is to strengthen the toe muscles because the surgery basically cut through the bones. But you have to really uh, look at each situation a bit differently. And in many of my workshops, I teach people to start and mobilize their toe muscles to strengthen them so uh, there would be more evenness and the bones will not move out of place. I must say that one of the reasons that I live in San Francisco by the beach is that I like to walk and run bare feet on the sand, which is many people think I'm crazy because the sand is kind of cold and the beach in San Francisco is kind of foggy. But I still love to do it. Uh, And um, I think that it's a, a great thing to walk with either thin shoes or thick socks and make sure that you don't uh, step on any glass but to walk in parks in New York on the grass and to mobilize the feet as much as possible, to change two or three shoes per day, and to walk on, uh, on carpets uh, as much as possible, bare feet. So taking the shoes off, changing shoes, and also learning to isolate toe muscles, which is in my book, Awakening Your Power of self Healing in the spine and muscle chapters, and also, uh, and also uh, I teach it in my different workshops. But I want you to know something. There are times when I suggest the surgery. It depends how great the bunion is, and it also depends if there is arthritis in, in some other joints. 80% of the time, I suggest to not do the surgery, and many people were able to hold on for dozens of years. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. So so that's interesting um, when you were saying, because it seems to me that a lot of people have problems because of how they have um, used their feet based on, you know, different kinds of shoes, walking on different kinds of pavements and not really being mindful of what the body and bone structure actually needs. Um, So maybe you could uh, talk a bit about um, how to use some of the techniques you teach to to really um, redistribute the weight and the stress within our structure, our bone structure. And So to um, begin with, mm -hmm. everyone that can take their shoes off from time to time, I know that you cannot do it if you sit now in a fluorescent... A room in an office, but if you, let's say, do work from home, uh, work without your shoes. For example, right now, as I'm speaking on the radio, 
Uh, I don't have my shoes on, and I move my uh, one of my feet. I just wanted emotion. to ask the caller to hold on. We'll come to you in a moment. I have someone on hold now. Good. Go ahead, yeah. So I move my, uh, move my foot in rotating motion. But the other thing is uh, just be aware of the fact that all shoes are made with elevated heels, even those that are not considered to be heel shoes. I have one pair of shoes, and they're pretty expensive to get, where they elevate the toes and the heel is down to build up better front, shin muscles, the tibialis anterior. So what happens is we are really deprived from the total movement. So it's good for you to evert the the foot, to put it inward, to invert it, uh, uh, put it out, uh, sorry, invert it inward, evert it outward, and move it in rotating motion. Point the toes towards the knees all you can because the Achilles tendon with most people is short, which causes problems in the knees and in the hips. And uh, we need to start and create fuller mobility in our ankles if we want to save our back and neck. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we have a question. Hello, you're on the air. Do you have a question for me here? Yes, I have a question. I'll be out of the country on, on that day. Uh, it, well, does he have CDs? Because I do, uh, uh, I'm a third uh, uh, a third degree Reiki person. Uh, I'm in my seventies, but I've been doing healing since I was a teenager. Uh, so, and I would love to come to. But do you have uh, some CDs or something that went or are you filming? Do you have any films that you have done in the past? That's the question, basically. Um, I can't keep going yeah, to uh, yeah. I think you can probably find um, things with uh, Meir doing his work. We have his DVD, Yoga for Your Eyes, um, as a premium at the $75 level. You can pledge for a package with the book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, with the Yoga for Your Eyes as a pack at $125 level. And um, the book alone is Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing is a $75 level. But if you search, I feel confident that you can find um, many things by Meir because he's done many, many projects over the years, so you'll find it. Do you have, how do you spell his name? M-E-I-R. M-E-I-R. Schneider, S-C-H-N-E-I-D-E-R, Meir Schneider. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your call. Bye-bye. And for those of you who don't uh, want to miss out on this experience of actually being there in the room with my ear, and as he said, he, he, he is sensitive to who is in the room. So you could come there with your specific question that you can ask or with um, something that you are working with and challenged with and get a sense of how you can begin to uh, move back into a state of mobility and health. That number to call to make your pledge is 516-620-3602, 516-620-3602, and make your pledge of support to attend one of these most incredible lectures. And you can attend to the lecture on Tuesday, June 12th, or on Monday, June 11th. On the Monday, June 11th lecture is on West 86th Street. And the Tuesday, June 12th lecture is on West 36th Street. So one in a slightly up and the other slightly downtown. But make your phone call. It's only a $35 pledge. When you make that call, 516-620-3602. 516-620-3602. Make your phone call and pledge at the $35 level for this lecture. And it's really reasonable enough that you can, uh oh, I lost my ear. It's reasonable enough that you can, um, make this call and you can pledge for yourself and you can pledge for a friend or family member. I'm going to play a little music so I can get my ear back on the line.
And we're back. Welcome back, Mayor. So the number to call, 516-620-3602, 516-620-3602. And you can make your pledge at the $35 level for this lecture with Mayor Schneider. And the event is in June. But by the time June comes along, it's very likely that these events will have been closed out by virtue of other people calling. So make your call now, 516-620-3602. Reserve your space for your family members. Um, perhaps you have family members who you know are dealing with certain kinds of issues. This would be a way for you to help them out as well by bringing them to this lecture. And also, for those of us who are marginally okay, I think that is the most dangerous time. We think we're doing great, but when it comes down to it, um, we're on our road to ill health. We have another call coming in. Hello, you're on the air. Um, oh, yes. I'm yes, please turn off the radio so we don't get uh, uh, feedback. Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Uh, he, he's, I mean, I'm so fantastic when I'm hearing. What about, sh uh, does he have a shoe line for us? Because our shoes are, our feet are all messed up because of the incorrect shoes, especially the women uh, are wearing. Do you, can you recommend a, a good foundation of, of sneakers and shoes that's going to uh, as sits with our health. How, how so, you know, life? balance is the real biggest secret of life. You know, if you want to be healthy, you want to be balanced. And what happens with our shoes, women or men, no difference, the heels are always elevated, even a little bit. So what I think we need to do is find more and more shoes where the toes are a little bit elevated to balance it. And the biggest thing is take them off the moment you can. And, you know, I don't mind uh, a woman or a man going to a, a party once with high heels, but that only should be done once in, you know, uh, three, four, five months, not regularly. Regularly, nobody should walk with high heels. It's a real cause for lordosis of the spine, it's a real cause of um, tensing the ankles, and it's a real beginning of arthritis. So I really think that we should really find a way to mobilize the feet all we can. And the thing that breaks my heart is to see people standing in stores, uh, vendors selling clothes or stuff of that nature with high heels. They really get hurt by them, and they don't even know that. Let's put it this way. The worst the worst kind of tension is numbness, when you don't even know that you're too tense uh, and that the body slowly, slowly starts to deteriorate. So one of the things that happens is once you discover how numb you are, it starts to be painful, but that's when you start to change things. So having a long Achilles tendon is very important. And if you had to walk with high heels, then, then do the exercise of standing against a wall and putting a foot on the wall and stretching towards that foot. So you just uh, st uh, straighten and lengthen your Achilles tendon that was shortened by standing on high heels. All right. Thank you for your call. Thank you. God bless. Mm -hmm. So that, that's... Actually, I'll never forget something. Mm -hmm. You once sponsored a lecture in the Meta Center when it still existed. It was a huge lecture with 90 people. Mm -hmm. And then a smaller one, but it was very packed in TRS suites. It had like 54 people. And in that lecture, one person was starting to say that he was drugged by his friends, but he doesn't believe in these kinds of therapies. And then I learned that he has such cataract that he can't see hardly anything around it. And I said to him, go and do the surgery, because it makes more sense to remove the lens as much as I hate to do that, and to see better. And he thanked me for that. Then um, another lady with a spot of cataract decided that she wants to do the surgery next month. I said, no, now you don't do the surgery. You work on getting your lens as healthy as possible. The lens is the only part of the eye that grows throughout life. And for that reason, the cataract will be more and more insignificant if you work, if you stop it, 
and you prevent the surgery for the next 35 years. Mm -hmm. And so when we're talking about individualized questions, individualized answers, in those lectures, we definitely have them. Yeah, that's really excellent. And it's interesting because you're able to interact with people and help them to evaluate um, what their particular stage might be and what the benefits of working with some of these techniques uh, um, when that would be the most valuable move. And I think that that's also a really uh, big part of what you can help me with. But it also struck me that as you were talking about um, this um, interaction and this dynamic between where a person is with their eyes, I would imagine that that's true with the situation in a whole body because Absolutely. if a person is um, in a st is having stiffness or is having certain kinds of problems, you could catch something and and have a positive impact before that stiffness takes you into a state of arthritis where the immobility actually begins to deteriorate the um the um the, the connective tissue and the bone that people can begin to um uh, arrest a process you know stop it and then re um invigorate the healthy um dynamic of their body can you speak to that for a moment absolutely you know, at any situation, the most important thing for us to remember is that movement is life. The most important part about life is movement from within and from without. So if you have a severe arthritis and much of your cartilage is gone and some of the bones started to fuse, you still can either get yourself better or worse. How do you get yourself worse? Take medication so you will not feel the pain that you have. How do you get yourself better? Well, exercise in warm water to lengthen your muscles. Take some cold showers to take away the inflammation or reduce it. Don't take too many pills, if at all, because they could be deadly. And what you should do then is mobilize yourself all you can. Now, these days, it's very hard to find anyone older than 70 without some sort of arthritis. And yet, our cartilage should actually hold on well for 120 or 150 years. But it doesn't because of the way that we move with our body. So, balance use of the muscles, discovering muscles we never used, relaxing the ones that we overused, and learning how to integrate between all of them will create different forces for the bones and will prevent cartilage destruction. More circulation will help the muscles and will help the nerves. So that is so important for us to learn the art of balance. And you know what? Even in two hours, you're going to learn that. Well, that's pretty important. And for those of you who um, are looking at your life, and if you if you're someone who maybe is not going out and enjoying life as you did when you were younger, or if you are in a place where you are experiencing pain in your body, maybe headaches, maybe backaches, maybe the hips are getting tight and you're losing your mobility. If you don't have the energy that you once had, all of these things can be impacted by learning to nurture your body, by learning to move your body in a way that helps it to stay healthy and to, because it impacts everything, your breathing, your circulation, your joints, your spine, your muscles, the nervous system. Um, there's so much that's interwoven and interconnected in our living system is really what um, how I view the body is it's a integrated, interconnected living system with all of these facets to it and all of these components to it. And we have to be good to our bodies. And it's sad, but most often people are better to their cars 
than they are with their bodies. And I think that something like this lecture, and it's a moving lecture because you'll actually be doing things in it, not just being spoken to, but you'll be walked through or talked through um, a various different kinds of uh, movement routines that you can do to benefit your body. So it's really a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you to give yourself that um, spring checkup, that spring cleanup, um, that, you know, like we think about cleaning our houses for spring. Well, maybe we need to really have an impact on our physical body and, and bring it up so that we can in really enjoy the summer. So as the weather changes, we'll be ready to get out there and move and be pain free. And that's really what this, um, teaching will help to bring into your life. The number to call is 516-620-3602. 516-620-3602. And only for your pledge of 25, I'm sorry, $35, a $35 pledge, uh, you will be able to attend one of these lectures, Guide for Self-Healing Lecture, either Monday, June 11th or Tuesday, June 12th. But to reserve your space, we need you to make that phone call, 516-620-3602. 516-620-3602. Make your phone call and reserve your participation with Meir Schneider. People have been very much uh, appreciative and supporting the station to uh, get a copy of your book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing by Meir Schneider. We can still do that at the $75 level when you call 516-620-3602. 516-620-3602. And for those of you who would like the package, you can do that as well. And that package can be yours. I believe it's a $125 pledge. But you can ask the folks when you call 516-620-3602. And you can make your pledge of support by calling that number and reserving your space. So, Meir... I just want to talk mm -hmm. to you about some interesting experiences. Mm -hmm. Let me talk about an extreme one. There was a lady with multiple sclerosis, very beautiful lady. She just had bad things to say about her ex-husband and friends and whatever have you, and was sitting in a, in a, a nice house, but was so embarrassed with being in the wheelchair. I never saw a thing like this in my life. <clears throat> that she would never go out, ever. And um, because of my strength and because she trusted me, I took her downstairs to their backyard. And she, first time in a year, was able to sense the sun and the air and you had to see the smile on her face and how relaxed she was and how less negative she was for that one amazing moment. And I felt so good about it. But then I was starting to think, if you think about the fact that in many ways we limit ourselves, we sit in our own prison in so many ways, and yet the brain has at least 30... Uh, million, billion synapses that can actually give us different directions, different way of thinking, different way of moving. And sometimes in one instance, when you're discovering, you say, aha, my hip can actually be different than it is. My fruit can be different than it, I experience it. My back can be different. I can see better something I never imagined is possible, and it, it feels so good for this moment. Well, you still need to do work. Those two hours on their own are not going to do the full work for you. But that discovery can be a full life changer. And that's what I'm looking forward to. When I will speak in England to the Macular Degeneration Society, I will talk to people who gave up on central vision. And a courageous person brought me there who himself has macular degeneration. 
He said that out of the 50 people, he convinced three or four to come to my workshop that I teach beforehand. But those of them who will open up and will see that there are other possibilities, for example, to relax their eyes, to cover the areas that see well and wake up the central vision, they will change their life completely. They will create new connection between the brain and the central vision that they lost. And so the reason for our lecture was the open-minded people who listen to your wonderful show in your wonderful station uh, is that they will have a chance now to wake up new connections between their brain and their body and have a whole new life. You can be, in some ways, reborn at any age. So true, so true. Um, and I am asking people at this point to make that phone call, 516-620-3602, and make your pledge of support. It's only a $35 pledge when you make that phone call to attend the lecture. And really, it's about realizing your body's potential with deep and simple techniques. Mayor Schneider will be actually teaching you these techniques at this lecture. It's a really good way to get started and to focus in on what would make the most difference for you, for your body, for your life. Call and make that pledge of $35 at 516-620-3602 and ask for the Guide for Self-Healing Lecture. You can do that on Tuesday, Monday, June 11th or Tuesday, June 12th. And um, then you'll be able to be part of this happening. It's something that's going to be transformative. You won't want to miss it. And for those of you who are in some ways uh, really needing that help and are suffering in your life, then now is the time to do something about that. It really is. So please do um, make that phone call, 516-620-3602, and be sure that you have one of these seats. They're somewhat limited at this point. Um, because space is what it is. There's only a number for about 65 in the Monday and about 70 in the Tuesday class. So call and be sure to reserve your space. That's so important. Uh, 516-620-3602. Too, and you can show your support for WBAI in that way. And um, also, Mayor, we're just about out of time. So I also wanted to alert our listeners that you are, you know, the beautiful thing is that you are donating your time to WBAI in order to do these lectures. So when they make that pledge of $35 or any amount regarding your uh, this awakening your power of self healing that really you're, you're, you're allowing that donation to come to WBAI. So I also want to let people know that you are going to be doing a couple of lectures in this region, full day lectures and maybe even weekend lectures dealing with, um, a much deeper aspect of your work. So I'd like for you to tell people how they can connect with you to find out more about that. And you also sometimes do private sessions when you're in town. If you're doing any of that, give folks the phone number that you would want them to connect with you. I would like to also say that we rented the space and we donated to WBAI, and I really hope that more people would want to and make this wonderful program going. That's one thing. The other thing is that uh, the day after, the 13th, I'm doing a whole day on natural vision improvement. If you want to get rid of your glasses, overcome uh, many problems with your eyes, that's a good one to go to. And then in Connecticut, I'm going to give a lecture and a two-day workshop on Friday and Saturday. So those of you who want to come on the uh, uh, 15, 16 uh, of, uh, of June can do that as well. So a lot is happening, and you can call our school at 415-665-9574, 415-665-9574,
and register either to the workshop in Connecticut of two days or the one-day workshop in Manhattan uh, for uh, natural vision improvement. And we have a lecture in Connecticut just before our workshop. And, you know, I'm coming for, from several different countries, and then I'm going to go back to San Francisco and from there to Brazil and Argentina. And I really would like to share, I've not been in New York for so long, and I would really like to share as much knowledge as possible uh, with the people of New York. I think that uh, you can make a very big difference at the end of the day. Uh, the group uh, we're going to...